Hello, so welcome back to another quick tip video. So in today's video, I wanted to go over something called a clipping mask. Now, this is a layout that I'm going to be building in an upcoming uh, web series. And I've just got a standard sort of box that I drew out here. But I want to add an image into that box like I have done with all these other ones. So the easiest way to do this, if you select the box, so if I go to my layers, so select it here, which is selected, just a, just, just the box. And all you want to do is grab the image that you want. So for example, I want this one here. So I'm going to select it all with Control A. I'm going to copy it all, Control C. Then all you have to do is go back to your main image, create a layer just above the box, and I'm going to paste in that image, which is massive, and it covers everything. So, so if you look down here, you've got the, the box layer here and the image above it. Now all you have to do to create a clipping mask is hold down the Alt key and put your mouse in between the two layers, and you'll notice that the cursor changes. Now all you have to do is click, and you now see that that image is now clipped inside of that box. As you can see, we've got this little arrow now pointing down, um, telling us that it's, a, it's basically clipped to that image. So now I can click on the main image, and I can drag it around and do what I want, or if I wanted to, I can do Control T, which brings up free transform, and as you can see, the image is quite large, so I can hold down uh, Shift and Alt and click in, and then it basically brings the size down and there you go so you can now add that in put it to any position you like and it's basically clipped into it so it will never move out of the actual design so that was just another quick tip so as usual guys thanks for watching please leave any comments below feel free to subscribe and i'll catch you in the next video